Is it time to buy or sell SPY ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into SPY. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, June 7, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 5, 2023, our system has ranked SPY as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 2.06. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 3.39%. This translates to an average return of 0.15% per day since it was listed as by candidate. The ETF lies in the upper part of a narrow and weak rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short term trader as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $428.52 will firstly indicate a stronger rate of rising. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 7.8% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 4.85% and 8.3%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 5.95% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 7.35% and 11.82%. This translates to a price range of $395.21 to $476.99 after a year. Our latest daily update for SPY includes the headline, SPY ETF price down 0.346% on Wednesday. The SPY ETF price fell by minus 0.346% on the last day, Wednesday, June 7, 2023 from $428.03 to $426.55. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 0.82% from a day low at $426.11 to a day high of $429.62. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days and is up by 3% over the past 2 weeks. Volume has increased on the last day by 19 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 76 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $32.54 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of ETF was $431.73, and the lowest price was $348.11. Currently, the price is 1.2%, or $5.18, below the 52-week high and 11.13%, or $53.43, below the all-time high on January 4, 2022, when the price reached $479.98. The following signals have been identified for SPY. The SPY ETF holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $424.21 and $415.04. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, June 6, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 0.346%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the ETF should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 2 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 2 days ago. Short term moving average, by signal 9 days ago. Long term moving average, sell signal 11 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 48 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart we see. 
Short moving average, sell signal 11 days ago. The long term moving average, buy signal 53 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 48 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for SPY On the downside, the ETF finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $389.28 and $385.91. There is a natural risk involved when an ETF is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the ETF then may fall to the next support level. In this case, SPY finds support just below today's level at $389.28. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $385.91 and $385.36. In general the ETF tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the ETF moved $3.51 between high and low, or 0.82%. For the last week the ETF has had daily average volatility of 0.96%. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for SPY. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for SPY is at $427.10. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, SPY encounters its first support level at $389.28. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $414.47, minus 2.83%. This ETF has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found one day ago. Is SPY ETF a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for SPY ETF to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Thursday, June 8, we expect SPY to open up $0.88 cents and start trading at $427.43. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.